Hi, everybody. Welcome to Coatsy's Corner. Well, if you go back to the original expansion, 1967, and one of those teams, this, besides the Philadelphia Flyers, there was a team called the St. Louis Blues. And, of course, they're here tonight. But one of the guys that made them famous that time, along with his brother, Barkley, Bob Plager, has joined me. And another guy named Noel Picard. There was some toughness on that team. And i got to ask you, I mean, you guys were the new kids on the block, but all of a sudden you were changing the way the game was played. I mean, your thoughts on that going back? Well, I think you mentioned it was an expansion year, and uh, there was a lot of players that uh, were very excited, very uh, happy to be playing in the National Hockey League then with the uh, six new teams. And it was, uh, we were told, you go out there and you do what you do best, and uh, we weren't goal scorers. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about this, because you and the Philadelphia Flyers used to have some dandies. Now, this is a, a time when Al Arbor was your coach, and you guys were not one, not two, but everybody was escorted. To the police station. Do you recall that? Oh, I recall that. That was a, <laughs> that was a great night here in Philadelphia. And, and that game there was uh, end of the first period. We were losing. Bad referee. And Al Arbor went down to talk to the referee. And then some of your fans here in Philadelphia, who I loved, but they come down and they just wanted to get in the action. So why not? And you know what was uh, interesting? that uh, Your team at that time, with incidences like this, that had Mr. Snyder, who was the owner of the Philadelphia Flyers at that time, said, I don't want to see my team have a problem with the St. Louis Blues anymore. And that created the Broad Street Bullies, which made it even better with, at that time. Well, that, that's what he's uh, always said, and he's always given credit to the St. Louis Blues, the Plaguers, and Noel, that uh, he made that team. He went out and he wanted a tough team. And, uh, you know, we were successful at it, and he found out that uh, you can go a long way with toughness because uh, I'm still a believer the tougher your team is, uh, the better your star players and your little players get to play. Boy, you guys did have, I mean, you guys absolutely hit in those days. I mean, Billy kind of hit a little low sometimes, and Barkley liked to use the stick a little bit, and you like to hit a little bit low at times, but you absolutely had fear in everybody's minds. Well, our body checks, uh, they were low or whatever they were. I caught them and uh, flipped them over me, but they were all legal. Uh, there was no headshots. And, you know, that's the way the game was played. You see what's happening now. But we, we threw body checks, and they were legal, and that was part of the game. And uh, teams come into our building, or we went into their building. They knew, keep your head up, don't watch your shot, don't admire your pass, uh, you're going to get a hit. So that was our advantage. We had teams slowing down coming into our end. Your, your, your late brother, Barkley, and you, did you start in junior playing like this, or is this something you developed when you finally got into the National Hockey League? Well, we started at, uh, before we got to junior. You know, at our house, we didn't have much, and uh, uh, with the food that was on the table, when my mother said, dinner's ready, we made a dash for the table, so we learned to throw body checks there because we wanted to be there first to get the food. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so it was a natural progression from there. Well, it was something uh, that we always did, you know, and I, I found out playing junior hockey, too. I threw a body check, and somebody went over you, and uh, the fans went crazy, and it's plus, it's what I said, uh, other teams would come in and they would be looking they played a different game so that was my job uh, and to make the National Hockey League I was once told don't change what gets you there you know you got to improve on other things to stay there so I threw body checks block shots and was tough in front of the net and the body checks I loved and Noel Picard fit perfectly in with the rest of you guys well Noel fit in very good with me because uh, when I played with Noel, I was all of a sudden, I was six foot four, 230 pounds, and I wasn't scared. I could throw the body check. So Noel was there to play. Hold on, whoa, whoa. I still have an outstanding warrant for your arrest, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Flager, so we'd like to uh, serve that guy, to you. There's a guy that used oh, to yeah. run into the odd time, I don't Bobby. think we ever yeah. finished everything we started out to, did we? <laughs> <laughs> but we had fun, though. <laughs> we did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I re thanks to you guys for giving uh, Schultz and I and the Moose a little bit of employment, too. We appreciate the way you guys played, so that wow. was outstanding. Well, I tell you, that was, we just talked about Mr. Snyder. He saw the way we played and come in there, and uh, he didn't want that anymore. Plus, you guys here, when you won, and you brought in probably my favorite guy, my first coach in professional hockey was Freddie Sherrill. And Freddie was the greatest. And Freddie knew how to handle players, and I think Freddie, uh, when he came to Philadelphia, he did a great job here, and you become winners here, too. He knew how to handle you players. You had a pretty simple uh, program from Freddie, too, right? It was dump the puck in, smash yeah. the guy through the board, spear him, second guy gets the puck, and you go home. Well, what I'm saying in here is Freddie was the one that told me, he says, Bob, if you ever get to the don't change what gets you there. Well, you guys were, and I, I got to run. <laughs> you can go and maybe 
<laughs> remind yourselves what it was like a few years ago <laughs> over there. Bob Plager, thanks very much. Bob Kelly, thanks very much for coming Pleasure. in. Thank you. Pleasure playing and thanks for, for joining us on Coatsy's Corner. A lot of great memories here with these two guys. St. Louis Blues, Philadelphia Flyers from way back.